All right, this is night three of Glenwald, where all we have are swords, crossbows, and tomes of secrets, because y'all like me to suffer. Thank you for the kindness. The, the game really just wants this, this ruin to get destroyed. That's the, uh, that's the dirty little secret. Let's see. We have so much AP over here that I wanted to spend all of my all, all of my attacks before I started debuffing. But that that's a good start. And then I don't mind standing here. We'll be more in the action when that happens then. Now, we see Contagion, which means we know that this is our opportunist we have here, but... Okay, good shot. All right, everybody's basically... Dead or going to dead. Oh yeah, Keon's our crit person. We really need to pay attention to our crits on Keon. Good thing it's alliterative, so we won't forget. Blame the balance team. I I mean, I... So I will say, I want to... At some point, I am going to revisit this, uh, this challenge. Because I think this challenge gets way more interesting with the the change that i proposed for the one hand sword where it becomes a uh its default maneuver has propagate on it so the way that i changed the sword was to make it so that it hits the the node directly in front and then has one propagate so it basically hits twice and i think that that makes the sword a a very interesting weapon all right, so we'll go like that, and then we'll go like this. You still have no pants. I I will remind everyone. Okay, let's see. Can you you can poke this guy? Oh yeah, Keon is our crit master. I need to remember. Sword Blast, then Sword Wave. This is becoming less and less of a sword. <laughs> it's true in Lustrous. It's so, so true. All right, we're just gonna, we're gonna hit these two so that they are dealing zero damage. Don't really wanna kill anybody. It's not my goal here. My goal here is to maim, not kill. These guys are still hitting a little too hard. I'm hoping this doesn't kill. It always kills. All right. Now we can... We'll get our contagion set up because we are we are an opportunist to the core. Oh, I hadn't used my debuffs. That was a mistake. We still had, we still had options there. Oopsie. All right. All right, now the fun begins. Let the bodies hit the floor. That's not a that's not a guaranteed kill. Oh no. Misread that one quite badly. It's gonna be interesting to see who ends up being the uh, the strongest hero on this roster. Let 
move over here because we know we're going to be doing a bunch of killing over there. All right. You guys need to watch more anime if you think swords are for stabbing. <laughs> I, it's it's sad but true. I forgot to take this barricade out of the way. Barricade solved. Get down here and then to work we go. Enable opportunism. Hmm. Really? Nobody's got a kill here? Nobody's got the kill? We got there, but... How much are we going to be able to retreat? Enough. Whoops. And then, let's see... do that. We're going to get one of these and only one, and then we'll soften this guy up just a little. We'll probably, mostly will be armor hits, but we got that. Okay. 93 to go. In Heroes of Might and Magic 3, one sword effect lets you rain Armageddon over the battlefield. Uh, but it's pretty crappy at being a sword. <laughs> That's that sounds that sounds about right uh, from my perspective, lore-wise, with with things of this ilk. Let's see. Let's go. Let's get opportunism popping on these two. I don't mind it. And if you come down one, we got a nice little four, four banger here. Let's see, and then you're, yeah, you're one off, unfortunately. This guy's coming a little too far in, but he's not getting there, which is nice. This is probably not a kill. Okay, I like that. Now, you are going to have kind of a rough time, I think. Speak for yourself, mere mortal, says Monica with their 9 AP. Do we do it? Do we focus up? It's going to get bad next turn regardless. <laughs> so I think we I think we just chill. There will be better uses for our mana than spending it on focus, I think. I will relocate a bit, though. This side is probably going to need a little bit of help. In fact, we should probably... We don't really want to transfer right now, but we should we should definitely transfer next turn. We probably should have thought about the transfer this turn, but okay. The panic has arrived. That's okay. I don't like that I have to spend two AP doing this, but it's the the cost of doing business. Okay. 
Good thing you can't lightning bolt yourself, right? Okay. Oh my gosh. And we still have we still have four AP to to send debuffs out this way. What a what a lovely windfall. Let's see. I can spend a little bit of mana here. So the only way we're getting this guy taken care of is with a little around the corner action. Or maybe we're just not getting rid of them. Seems unlikely. It's going to be a little awkward getting to this guy now. Maybe we have someone teleport back to do it. That may be the the most reason. They have their hands full. All right. How many people? We're going to get fully surrounded if I go to there. Here, we're going to get two hits off. Do we have Do we have the better version of jump over? Does that help us at all? Doesn't really help us. Wait, can I jump over the building? No, we don't have enough uh, movement. Hmm. I think we just kill everything next turn and we just accept it and I move here so that we don't get wailed on too hard. Yep, I think that was the correct the correct play. Oh, that's a that's an unfortunate. That's an unfortunate breakpoint. Hmm. Stormy needs Stormy needs some love for sure. Let's see. The fact that you aren't using Contagion to get minus 1,000 damage and 1,000 resistance on enemies feels like a mistake. So Abigail, resistance is capped at negative 50%. So negative 1,000 is uh, not terribly useful. I think you know that. Uh, and uh, minus 1,000 damage, we're already getting to basically them hitting zero. So I'm not too concerned about that right now, but we'll, we'll get better as we play, I'm sure. But yeah, I don't think spreading a whole bunch right now is a is a useful uh, application of our of our power. Oops. Let's see. You can probably finish this guy off this way. And then one last sword blast for the road. Whoops. Are you out now? Yeah, you're out. You're tapped out. All right, so we just get rid of you. And we accept that we will have some wall damage happen here. Say lovey. Oh, please don't die, though. Okay. It's like, as an example, right? We, we, could, we could spread a bunch of contagion. 
but to to what end right like we're gonna get all the kills we need here anyways You. Once we get sadist, things will change. But at the moment, we're not uh, we're not stacking up crazy numbers of debuffs, so. Ooh, Keon with the crits is just, that was a little gross, and I loved it. Let's see, Keon. Where, where were all your crits that time? Can I... Jumping over doesn't get me a line of sight, unfortunately. Forty-seven percent chance to crit. Well, we came up a little short, but that's okay. How about you guys? Are you guys coming around? Yeah, you're gonna just hit our walls. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna save this guy and try and lure him in. We're just gonna we're just gonna ice him. But I, I think Keon has has a lot of potential here. I know our opportunist does too, but the bounty of corpse piles continues. I, I don't know what to say about that. Let's see. We'll go. We'll go one more round of Econ. I think I'm going to do a full gold mine upgrade to use my last two or, well. Hold on a second. Something, something big just happened wind-wise. Give me just a moment here. Apologies. We've been having some pretty crazy weather here, and uh, the the gust of wind that hit the house there felt earthquake-like. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure that uh, that all was well. Actually, rather than spending on gold mines, if we do two more house upgrades, we can finally cash this in and get some cash back, uh, which I think is good. I think it's probably time to look at another hero, too. Let's see. Some, we got some level fours here. Royal Guard, Demonic Blood, Unadorned. Unadorned is such a bummer. Nudist. We got two Royal Guards here. Can we deal with a Royal Guard Nudist? Because, like, uh, they're both pretty bad. I don't know. I need to think on that for a second. Let's do level ups while I ponder that. Because Royal Guard is very nice. Let's see. Bodybuilder. We'll give that a roll to see. I, d I do want to pick up crit. I have crit mastery listed here, so I don't mind picking up a little bit of crit. And then, how far are we from organic armor? We're going to be picking up runic gift, and I guess we want vampire. We're not going to, without blood mage, it's not going to be that impactful, but we'll be getting organic armor next time, so... There might be an argument that we can switch over to some of this, but I also think getting our base damage up is a good idea because we already have a fair amount of physical damage. Uh, XP gain? I think it's early enough in the run for this still to be pretty spicy. And I like I like crit power here for what it is going to grow into, not what it is currently. 
then over here, this is our opportunist, so getting some opportunism is good. Get that opportunism going. A little bit of accuracy isn't a bad idea. And then sadist is gonna start to is gonna start to pop off. We're probably not gonna have trinkets for a minute, so I'm not going too crazy with that. I see big damage, I take big damage. And for our crit person, given that they are crit, we're really looking for crit power here. But range damage isn't bad either. I'm not gonna roll again looking for crit power. And then runic gift here. I, I swear I was watching this and we didn't get the plus three mana for mana ring, but maybe I'm hallucinating. I think we roll the heroes. We got we got great top line stats, but I, I think like of these two, I'd probably take Stefan. The lack of the lack of trinket slot is so much lost power. Like, are we going to end end the game with a trinket that is going to give us 12% physical, 12% ranged, and 12% crit? It's actually kind of unlikely, now that I think about it. So let's pick up Stefan. Let's let's roll the dice on Stefan. And if he has Runic Gift, that'll be, a, that'll be a nice balance out. So we like the XP. We do get the trinket slot back. God, everybody's a vampiric bodybuilder. We like big game hunter. We like don't panic. We like legendary assassin. I think this is another opportunist. A critty opportunist. Yeah, I, I like that build. This looks pretty good. CO. Critty opportunist. There we go. So let's see. What was I taking at the first level here? For a crit opportunist, we're never going to use cheer. We're probably going to be going tome crossbow on this hero, if I had to guess. Oh, well, we absolutely need contaminate, which means that first blood is off the table. And then, shame we don't have Mark. I would have been excited to take Mark. So at level one, there's not much on offer, so I'll take Fatality, I think. I am still thinking about crit, so I'll, I'll take the crit power. The magic damage isn't bad here. I'll grab it. Two Propagation Bounces. I don't know about that. Take the crit even though it's small. Action Point is exceptionally nice. Little Damage is, is always a good pickup. Two Prop Bounces. Since we're going to be a Tome user and we're going to be Sadist, I think it's, it's absolutely worth taking. Okay. And then next time we'll get some goodness coming out. But let's take a look at our what we got going on in here. I think we pick up both the tomes. Which one is this? 12% accuracy isn't bad. Why do all of these have resistance and accuracy? Look, look at this. What are the chances? Resistance, accuracy, resistance, accuracy, resistance, accuracy. The randomness is sometimes... Uh, I, I am sometimes somewhat skeptical of it. Now, do we like base damage or do we like the accuracy? I think I like the big accuracy bump. And I will not use scrolls from other uh, other sources either. We still have someone who doesn't have a chess piece at all. Physical range damage. There's certainly a world in which that could be useful. The priest robes doesn't really do it though. Here, let's let's distribute the goodies that we've that we've acquired here. So our bodybuilders getting the big sword. I want I want big numbers out of them. You get a new tome. You get a new tome. 
you can take the nice crossbow and a tome until we're going to get more more swords are going to come in later in the run uh because i i think it's it's hard to wade in shields are are hilariously useful in in this context i'm going to roll once to see if i can get a better armor yeah i like this armor a lot what am i going to sell to get this armor There we go. That gets... We'll put this on... We want on someone... The the, mate, the momentum is going to become useful later on, but I just like everybody being armored up. Let's see. We have a staggering number of materials. Have we even used our benedictions? We haven't. I can see myself upgrading to have more benedictions, but we'll just do this. I think someone left a comment for me at one point letting me know that it's better to repair and then upgrade. So if you're currently watching, I want you to know that you were heard and that I forgot and I did it wrong. <laughs> so <laughs> hopefully that comes as some some consolation uh that doesn't sound like it's going to so wait who has who has our level three tomes you have level three tome and you have level three tome i think they're gonna do a lot of work so i'm gonna put you and you together and you and you together i'll put you kind of on this corner here and then demolition derby Don't destroy your warp gates, kids. That's a that's a mistake that I've made. And I guess while we're while we're demolishing, I'm feeling stable enough now that I'm gonna let all of this go. I think given the fact that our heroes are leveling up, I'm probably not gonna worry about hiding behind anything. So I think we're just good here. Yeah, upward and onward. Two-handed swords, tomes, and crossbows. That's all we have to work with. And this is night number four of Glenwald. We have uh, we have one bodybuilder and then a handful of other chuckleheads. But I think I think things are going to go relatively well. This is our Stormy is our opportunist, so we want to be. We want to be taking advantage of stacking as much sadism as possible. Did she have bless, by the way? Did I completely miss bless? No. Sadly, she has hex, not bless. So that's a that's a bit of a that's a bit of a bummer. What's the chances of this getting a kill? Ah, eh, too high. We don't need to. We don't need to mess about with that. Oh, I should have I should have sold the Hammer of Faith scroll, but this is this is looking like a very straightforward knight. Ah, uh, we got hunters and archers. Maybe slightly less straightforward than I initially suggested. So I can do that by getting to here. I still run away far enough. Just stacking up opportunism, don't mind me. I'm not bothering to soften things up. I think at this point, most of our heroes are hitting too hard for that to be a real option. Oh, I did not get you as far out of harm's way as I wanted to. So we'll do that. 
I think most of these that are coming in right now are extremely zeroed out, so I don't think it's going to be a big deal. This is We're going to be fighting in a very tight cluster here, which I think is very good for us. It's going to be very good for us and very good for our uh, our corpses. That this guy, this guy landing where he landed is kind of a bummer. You can't say no. When when this sword blast is offered to you, you just have to zero out the competition. Uh, this this hunter is already doing zero damage. Uh, that's gonna be bad news for them. Let's see who's. Let's see, where's who's our opportunist? You're our opportunist, right? Okay, so let's do this. And then slap down a contamination. That's numbers. We're cooking with numbers. So spreading the contagion does not yield does not yield increases in opportunism for this hero. I think I, I think I misunderstood that part of the equation. We got two procs out of that, which is nice. This guy's still hitting kind of hard. Still hitting kind of hard. I don't think we're going to be able to get them in to where we need them to be either, but that's okay. All right, what are we going to do here? All right, so first of all, the game is taunting me with another beautiful sword blast. So let's do that. I'm pretty I'm pretty thrilled with how how things are going for our uh, our bodybuilder. Okay, so you're our opportunist. So if I do this, we're going to see a big debuff number come up, plus 23. But then if I do this, that's plus one. But when I spread it, that's plus six. Okay, so it is working. All right, I take it back. Okay. I'm, I'm really worried that just no matter what I do, we're going to find our way to securing a kill on this elite. And I don't think... I think I'm just going to keep debuffing it and hope that it keeps walking in, but... It's not like, it's not like it isn't serving us to continue tossing debuffs on it. So... This guy did not get debuffed. So I'll just I'll just eliminate him from the equation. I don't want anyone getting like randomly one shot. It's it's bad for business. Are you guys pretty debuffed? Pretty debuffed. We could eliminate this guy. Well, if we eliminate this guy, we're transferring a lot of You can probably we can probably just body block these two. With the current debuff, Elite deals zero damage to you, but you deal the damage to your uh, to yourself. You talking about the the mirror shield damage? Yeah, yeah. The sadly, mirror shield is not debuffed. That that hurts a little bit. I think we're gonna have to.
This is like a too perfect a diagonal chain not to not to just fire out. Okay, not bad. So let's see. So I think over here. Is this a good use? So if I just walk to here, I think the sword blast is a better a better play. Then we can momentum hit and do that. I think I think we have plenty of AP to finish this off as a side note. I'm not I'm not super concerned. I'm hoping that I can leave a little bit to reaffirm some debuffs here. Make sure that everybody is doing zero. But I should also make sure that I'm not forgetting to secure the kills that need to be secured. Ooh, did not get there. I'm I'm actually shocked. Oh, we did we did end up getting there. This guy's doing full damage, which is not great. Oh, come on. All right. We actually I think we're I think Monica is going to do just fine here. I'm actually going to jump back like this because I'm a little worried that the hunters would target Stormy. And Stormy is a little squishy. What with the, the pantsless shenanigans that are afoot. Yeah, we're, we're playing a little bit of a dangerous game here. They still targeted her. Okay, interesting. I, uh, I did not think that it worked that way. The a the the AKA you're hitting stop hitting yourself modifier. Yep, that sounds about right. Let's see. So let's do this. I I have this this feeling, and I think it is it is well founded that. Kind of no matter what I do. I completely lost that thought. Wow. Oh, yeah. I don't think I'm going to get the elite hunter in. Almost no matter what I do. Unfortunately, I think that may just be the, the reality of the situation. Nice hit. Like, I think we can, we can toy with the hunter pretty much until we're blue in the face. But it is very unlikely that we'll get any, uh, we'll get them into the, into the space. Not with that attitude. That's. Oh, the, the lead hunter is, uh. So let's see. Are you still rolling a fair amount of, we lost a bit of opportunism. Oh, Errol Sink, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Loving, loving what our opportunist is doing, though. Really? Both ways? That doesn't get the kill? Alright, we'll do that. 
Let's see. You guys still have some actions. This guy... This guy's doing 11 damage. We can probably survive 11 damage. Talk to me here, though. Let's see. We got... One action on Monica we can do nothing with. So if we want these two to die, which probably helps us get secure the S rank, four men will do it. Jump in, heal thyself, physician. Take some block. Ooh. Good thing we got Vampire on that hero, right? You do have Vampire on you, right? Yeah. We need a bit of healing to uh, to fully take advantage. A bit of healing and a bit of mobility, I guess, is the the appropriate combo. But let's see, Stormy, you can hop out. Oh, the inaccuracy reigns supreme. Should have enabled opportunism there. That was that was a bit lazy. What's your what's your resist at? Mine is 120. All right, so it's just whatever we can get is whatever we can get here. Okay, I was hoping we'd have a little bit left over because I'm a little worried about these two guys and a little worried about these two guys. So let's get them good and debuffed. Yep, and then. And Monica two shot this guy. Hey Rue, how's it going? Welcome on in. So this this bottom side is completely neutralized. But I also kind of feel like these two are never going to move. <laughs> like, given given an infinite number of monkeys. Or, or whatever whatever exactly that is, it won't matter. They will never type type Shakespeare. Let me get rid of this guy because, again, the. The archers are never going to come in and become contributing members of society, unfortunately. Same, same with these guys. I'm going to try to do something with, uh, with these two guys. We're going to see if I can maybe bait the elite into coming forward. Because we can keep them perpetually lame-ducked. And so maybe if we, maybe if we run away, they'll be like, "Oh, free, uh, free real estate here. Let's uh, let's get on in there." But only time will tell. Let's see. You can move back. Might as well toss that there. All right. So move you here. You.
at hunters are tier three i believe abigail i think i'd have to i'd have to double check that though because right because i think archers are tier two which would logically mean that hunters as the progression of archers are tier three So let's see. So let's move to here. Just got to keep this guy on ice. I'm hoping now that he's lost his charge, he will move forward. Tier 3 hit 100% at Haven 1. Oh. So we might not need it. Oh my gosh. Did you see what he just did? Did you see? The blasphemy that was walking forward and then also walking diagonal. We're going to see. I'm, I'm really going to let this guy, really going to let this guy marinate for a second here. I love that chips of chips of stuff still fly off of the thing. So he only moves on turns where they're not where they they are not uh, where they're not charging. It seems so. Hopefully they'll move and charge. No, there is no there's no like darkest dungeon style timeout uh, rule. So, hey, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Kaboom. Yeah, so especially if you have stun heroes, Rue, you can basically infinitely delay things. There we go. It's our first S rank of the run. We're, uh, we're feeling good. Man, the corpse piles have been on freaking fire. Oh, with 600 stats, what, is, what does our shop look like right now? Our shop is like level three items, so our corpse piles will probably be level two. That oh, that healing received on our blood mage would actually be pretty nice. There's a lot of accuracy on that on that sword as well. Let's take a look at our knight reward really quickly before we do anything else. Paladin greaves, I am absolutely down with. Those look really good. No, you lose torch in Lustra. So, I mean, I guess there there is just a penalty is is the other way to put it. So, let's see. As a bodybuilder who who is going to have a side of crit, let's fish for a little crit. We're not going Yeah, we're not going dodge build. So, I'm going to roll again there. I'll take a little bit of resistance reduction. That's fine. I'll take healing received. Should have maybe I should have taken experience, but Organic armor. Let's see what what we got here. We picked up a hundred, a hundred. Not bad. Stormy. A little bit, a little bit more damage. I think is good. We could pick up the resistance just because she's a little glassy, but take the range damage. We'll get her a better crossbow today as well. I'm, I'm starting to feel like like we should pivot to gear. Let's see. Crit, Crit Master Keon has stalled out a bit on... on acquiring said crit. That's what I was looking for. Thank you, game. And then opportunism is going to fire off a lot during this run. Longer weapons is fine. You're a crit person. Your crit opportunism. You are going to be picking up sadist. 
So you're probably going to have more opportunism than you know what to do with. Liability feels bad, as always. I think for now, we, we ignore the, the trinket slot. Okay, so level ups looked good. I kind of want to take gear, if I'm being honest. I think we... I think we have so much, so many resources right now. Like, I mean, what am what am I even doing with our materials? I'm gonna like build stone walls, probably, because <laughs> I don't think I'm too worried. I don't need people to be inside. Our people are gonna be durable. It's nice to be able to duck in occasionally, though. But I I think it might be, it might be time. Let's start getting some gear going. There we go. Momentum, isolation, and poison is okay, but that armored pair of boots looks spicy as all get out. AP is going to be important here. Uh, trinket? Cool. Level 3 crossbow, I think, is better than a sword right now for us. I like these step hunter pants. Ah, multi-hit. <laughs> uh, that, that might be a roll there. This is definitely a roll. Oh, more multi. Multi hit and an action point. This is why I love doing these runs. This is one of the best hats I think I have ever seen. Oh, I'm going to take a screenshot. We'll paste that into the Discord with the simple... With a simple exclamation, but that hat is bonkers good. Might still be good even without the multi-hit, but the the damage down is feeling a little bad. We'll probably take it to sell, though. Because we already have two good reroll targets. I love crit here. More multi-hit. Game is just like, have you considered give, being given all the multi-hit? And the answer, my friends, is yes, I have. We can't use shields. Literally can't use them. All right. So this one felt like felt like an easy reroll. So let's start out here. Momentum, accuracy, dodge, and movement, and reliability. It's it's not good, but I think. We'll re-roll here. Take another crossbow, and then we're stuck with... I guess that. All right. So, lots of lots of gear to upgrade our heroes with. So, crit key on is going to get crit crossbow. C -c 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 crazy And then I liked the step hunter pants on... Monica, who has no pants, and I'm I'm trans I'm gonna transition Monica over to sword crossbow, I think. Then Stormy. Stormy has a lot of damage, so losing a bit of damage for a gain in AP, I think, is good. And then this step hunter garb. The crit power goes well with critting Keon. Slap that there. Thinking, I'm thinking uh, Stefan here may find their way to being a, let's see, eight. Stormy, Stormy, you can take this because your armor is a little lacking. Then who needs some accuracy? This has accuracy and crit, so Monica can take that. Then nice little improvement there. And then we have these really nice pants. Nobody has good pants, but who has a, an abundance of accuracy? Is it all coming from the pants? Yeah, I'll leave those pants there. This offsets the damage that we lost on Stormy, so we'll do that. Then a level 2 book. I was going to say, we must have someone who just needs a level 2 book. All right. 
There we go. And that's only Corpse Mountains that we've done so far. I think... We'll do that for cash flow, and then I will also do this once for cash flow. So that was a that was a investment in economy, but I think we can afford to invest in our economy. And then am I really just gonna go to stone walls here? I think I will. If we're going to stone walls, we may want to. We may not want to do a little. We could also like tuck a we could tuck a watchtower back here. Things things you never thought you'd hear me say. Oh yeah, I like this for our blood mage. Eh, that's okay. Extra propagation bounce. We can find that on tomes pretty easily. We'll pick up those. Let's see. Hmm. I think... I think we've basically taken everything we can take from here, so I'll give it a reroll. We'll see if we can get something a little spicier on the reroll. More energy pots are always welcome. Not having a proper blood mage is kind of a bummer. I'll do the, the upgrade here, and then... Hunter, Methodical, Pacifist. With the Opportunism Tree, I think we... Do we mortgage the farm to try and get Lorelei? I should have done this sooner, but she's so good. We could have done it if I didn't buy all these potions. Like, this was nice, but it's not that nice. That gets us 29. We'd have to sell, like, a lot of... Stuff. The XP on that's too good. That, though, we can sell. Nah, I, I don't think I don't think it's realistic. I think I I need to accept that I uh I didn't do us any favors. I think Stormy gets this action potion and Monica gets this action potion, and then we'll toss teleport here. Yeah. I think it's it's okay. We'll we'll get someone next time. The that that hero looked pretty good, but we've been we've been having some really good luck with with heroes in general. Knock on wood. They're all going to be absolutely trash from here on out, but just cuz we're taking a bit of chip damage. All right. Are those going to get in the way? Probably not. Wrap that around just a little bit, and let's uh, let's do the thing. Oh, free building abilities. How could I forget? 